Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you a very special video, finally a Glossier full face. I've been a fan of Glossier ever since they started um, and today I actually bring you a lot of my opinions on some of their products and others that I don't really like as much. I did a voiceover because there was a lot of noise in my neighborhood but other than that um, I actually wanted to give you my honest opinion on some of them and others that actually I love and use every other day on my daily makeup routine um, I do have here some that I didn't get to use because they're expired or I, they didn't work for me when I got them um, for example the sit stick I have it here for my collection but I didn't really like it because I felt that it actually you know damaged a little bit my skin and I didn't use it as much on the other hand I do have the one of the masks I do love their masks this one is the moisturizing moon mask I love this one and I actually like the other one that I think it's the green galaxies green I think it's green something and I actually love that one as well for makeup I don't have everything here but I do have some that I didn't actually use here on the tutorial I have the two sky wash eyeshadow products I have the shade pool and echo like this blue a uh, sky blue one and this brown smoky brown one i don't love them to be honest these are not these were so underwhelming as well as the lit stars today i actually used one in the shade lily which is pretty 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 shade but it isn't you know it doesn't show off as much on the lid so it's okay it's an okay product that you know sometimes if you're in a hurry you could use those if you're more of a natural kind of gal which sometimes i am but sometimes i really want a little bit of more intensity then glossier is for you i do love the rest of the makeup that i'm going to show you and some obviously as i mentioned i don't love as much but I hope you like this video. I hope that it's helpful for you if you're still looking into Glossier and you haven't bought anything. Then I think that this video will help you decide on some products you want to try out. And if it did help you this video, please comment. You can subscribe to my channel and like this video. So yeah, thank you so much. Let's go on with the tutorial and I will see you there. Hey guys, so before I start my tutorial today, I'm taking a sip of my coffee with my Papelon mug from Palabreo shop. This isn't sponsored, but I just love that mug. So we start with a little bit of skincare. Uh, you obviously have to start your day with SPF, so please don't forget. So here I'm using Invisible Shield. This is one of my favorite products from the brand. It's in SPF, which is pretty lightweight and really comfortable to wear under the makeup. And I actually really recommend it. It has SPF 35. For the next product for my skin is the Priming Moisturizing Balance Gel Cream. This is perfect for sensitive and combination skin just like mine. It does not clog my pores. I just love it to use it as a primer to use before my makeup and I do love it. Next up is the Future Dew. This is actually going to make your skin glowy and really really pretty, not looking so shiny nor either oily and I love to use it on my high points of my face, just like in my cheeks or in a little bit under my brow bone and yeah I just love it and tap it a little bit to create that glowy base. The Glossier Bomb.coms are one of my top favorites, probably my number one of the brand. I love these two. These are the Mango and Coconut Bomb.coms. I actually used it before filming the video, so yeah, I truly recommend these. These are so moisturizing and pretty, pretty good, and they smell good. Okay, so for my base products, I'm using first the Perfecting Skin Tint. Honestly, um, this is pretty lightweight and pretty sheer. It doesn't give so much coverage for your skin if you're looking into something that gives you coverage. This isn't it. I think this is a perfect product for summer since it's pretty lightweight and it can also help 
um, even out your skin color but other than that the coverage isn't the best so I just think that you can skip on this product but if you're looking for something pretty natural but just evens out your skin this is for you So next up is the stretch concealer. This one is actually one that I recommend because it does give the coverage that you need and the coverage that the, per the perfecting skin doesn't give you. So I love um, how it looks under the eyes and I actually also apply it on the areas that I have some zits or some imperfections and I think it does even out the skin even better with the perfecting skin tint. Okay, so next up we have their cheek products, the Cloud Paints in Puff and Dusk. I These are my favorites. I love them so much. Um, but these are going into the sheer side, very, very natural look. Um, so I use them sometimes as a base for my actual powder blushes and bronzers. But on their own, they are really, really pretty. They do give that natural vibe to them and I love to apply them from their, the tube and then um, blend it with a brush. And what I like about the cloud paints is that they you can build it up it's like even though they're sheer and if you still want more color on your face these are really buildable and pretty easy to use you can even use your fingers I just use the brush not to make a little bit of a mess on my fingers while filming but I do love to use them with my fingers as well sometimes when I'm in I'm in a rush but I really, really do love the color range. I do wish that they expand it more in the future, but for now, these really work for me and I just really, really recommend them if you're looking for something pretty natural and buildable. Okay, now for some brow products, I use the Boy Brow and the Brow Flick. I love these two combined. So first up, I use the Boy Brow and brush my hairs upwards. And then with the brow flick, I do draw some hairs and they make the brows look more natural and full. And they just, I just love how they, they look throughout the day. And they do stay um, put. <laughs> Okay, so for the eyes, I'm using this Lit Star um, product. They came out with these a couple, a couple of years ago. I honestly do not reach for them at all, but since we're today on this lilac vibe, I had this shade on my collection and I used it. It's pretty easy to use. You can just use your fingers to sheer out the color to blend it a little bit on the lid, but honestly, it does not do the color payoff. payoff. Um, I think it just like the color disappears and I don't like that about the product and I have to keep building it up so I can see a little bit of color in there but honestly I do not recommend this product I think it's pretty and all and yeah you can see my face here but I truly don't recommend it you have to keep building it up so you can have more uh, pigment Okay, so for the eyes, off camera, I did a little bit of a wing with the Pro Tip Liner. 
Um, the only downside of this, I do really like it and enjoy it, but it doesn't last too long on the skin and also the product already ends in a couple of weeks. Like, uh, it, it just got wasted in very small uses. For the mascara, uh, the Lash Slick is one of my favorites. This one I truly recommend because it does give you a really natural look on the lashes. And I actually sometimes combine it with another mascara to give a little bit more of definition on my lashes. But it, it isn't volumizing or anything, it's just for that natural look. Okay, so now for lips, I'm using the lip gloss in Holographic. Their lip glosses are really, really good pretty comfortable on the lips and I do combine them with other lipsticks and lip stains and it does give such a pretty pretty sheen to the lips um, they are so good so I truly recommend this and this is the final look I really really enjoyed creating this with some of my favorite and not so favorite Glossier products. I truly have to keep um, collecting other products that I don't have and give you my honest opinion but for now these are what I have and I hope that it helps you in some way to decide in what you want to buy. So thank you so much and see you on my next video. Bye guys!